And across the country, several communities reeling after a violent week connected to several graduations. And separately, in Chicago last night, nine people shot near a McDonald's. Two of them died. Now, this latest incident, part of a worrying trend of violent crime surging when summer arrives. Correspondent Kelly Beeson joining us now. So, Kelly, it's not even officially summer. It's not, Nicole. And what we know so far about what happened just across the street here in Chicago last night is that there was a suspect that fled um, at the crime scene. Police found him in the subway. There was a weapon recovered and another person taken into custody as well for obstructing police here at the scene. As you mentioned, some studies say crime surges as much as 35 percent during these summer months. And we have seen quite a violent week across the country, namely, as you mentioned again, Nicole, at graduations. One was at North Little Rock, Arkansas, where no one was hurt, a shooting happening there. Another just outside Nashville, Tennessee, where an 18-year-old was killed at a graduation. One near Grand Rapids, Michigan, leaving two people wounded, one in critical condition. And four other people were also injured in Hammond, Louisiana, after a high school graduation ceremony there. All of these shootings, now in 2014, the Bureau of Justice Statistics found that violent crimes and property crimes specifically see an uptick during summer months in response to many police departments across the country, up patrols to keep communities safe. And here in Chicago, the mayor has recommended moving curfew for minors back from 11 p.m. to 10 p.m. That's a measure that's received a lot of support. And we've reported on this in the past. There are north side communities here in Chicago that have taken their security into their own hands, hired private patrols in order to keep their community safe, Nicole. Yeah, yeah certainly communities, uh, you know, just trying to think of any type of solution here. Thank you for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.